I've never had any luck working with cement. And you won't, David, if you're working with cement. Now, this is concrete. I always thought the two words were the same, concrete, cement. No, the cement is the bonding agent that you put into an aggregate of some type, fine sand and fine pebbles and so on. And it's just like a glue. It glues it all together, uh, but much stronger than most glues would ever be. Is there any specific mixture you have to use then of all that stuff? There would be for specific jobs, yeah. In this particular mix here, uh, I want a fine finish on it, so I have to use a very fine aggregate. I would be using a very fine sand, uh, silica sands that are different, and uh, uh, it would be about three to one, three of aggregate to one of the cement itself. Uh, so do you choose the, the, the mixture just for looks alone? Oh, no. No, no, there are specific things that you would uh, get, and there's a lot of information that you should get before you start pouring any type of concrete. Uh, it varies. The mixes vary, the proportions vary for different jobs that you do. So are you, are you shooting here for good looks or strength or what? Uh, some strength, certainly, but I want a nice fine finish on here, so that I should be able to finish this off uh, fairly smooth. So this will be all nice and that look like smooth concrete when it dries? This is not going to dry, I hope. Um, it cures. It's a chemical action that takes place within this from, from moisture and the water that we put in it, besides making it um, liquid or, or fluid enough to move. Uh, it has an action, a chemical action with the cement that causes heat and curing, actual curing. You have to be careful it doesn't dry. Is that why, they, is that why people spray it with the hose when it's curing? <laughs> yes. Yes, you have to keep that moisture content down in the, uh, the concrete itself so that the curing takes a place over a longer period of time. If it cures too quick, the heat's too much, you'll get cracks and, and a weakness in it. So I guess it would be handy to do this on a rainy day so that the rain would keep it wet. Well, uh, not particularly, because a, a rain or sudden downfall of, of moisture under this thing will wash away the cement from the aggregate and you'll get a flaky... A uh, surface that, that's just peeling off. There's no bond at all in it. If, if I were doing something that required a huge form, could I use great big stones in there to take up space? Yes, you can. Uh, but it would be a good idea to wet those stones very, very well so they don't absorb the moisture away out of the, uh, the concrete mixture. Also, the form should be very well wet before you pour it in so that, that mixture uh, is not dried out on the outer surfaces and weakened. What's the effect of using a dry form? What does it look like? You get all flaky pieces falling out of it. There wouldn't be a, a bond or not, uh, it wouldn't adhere to each other. And you get a very flaky surface and weakening it as well. Well, let me help you pour this so we can go away and have some coffee. Well, we're going to pour it all right, but I'm afraid we can't go away yet either. Uh, okay. Uh, we have to give this a little bit of action here and there because... Even in the pouring, there'll be a lot of air trapped in there. So we have to sort of vibrate it a little bit, and that's done with a little uh, board that we call a float. And you simply fill in all the spaces. It vibrates it by moving it. It also brings out a level sort of area in it. And you notice it, mm -hmm. it floats it right in. Now, you can't... Don't you use that professional tool over there, the trowel? Well, I this? couldn't use it now because it's much too liquid yet. Um, I have to wait now for this to cure a little bit, and then I can use my smoothing tool on it. If I try to use it now, I'll tend to drag it all over the place. So I wait until it has cured down just a little bit, the moisture content goes away a little, and then I can use my trowel to, to smooth it out. Now that's for a level surface. How do you get it sloped, like for the basement floor? You simply build your farm in the shape you want it to end up. Well, isn't it all just going to run down to the low no, end? No, it isn't. You notice it isn't running here. You can push it to where you want. It shouldn't be that liquid that it's going to run away on you. It should be stacked up to where, where you would want it, and it'll stay there. How would you adjust this mix if you wanted mortar, you know, for brickwork? Well, it'd be d entirely different uh, uh, cement that you'd use. There's a special masonry cement that has certain contents, more lime content in it, um, and you'd use that with a very fine, fine sand aggregate so that you don't have little stones holding the bricks up and things. And Is that then the... How, how do you adjust that mortar mix in something like a fireplace if you're putting the... Well, it would be for the outside, of course, it would be just about the same mix, but you don't use concrete uh, inside the fireplace when you're putting in your fire bricks. It's a fire clay. It's an entirely different solution altogether. 
What are you building this little box of concrete for, anyway? Well, I found a sign the other day at a place I was working, and I thought it'd be a great thing if I could put that out in the front yard, in my lawn. Oh, let the neighbors know who you are. Right. <laughs> <laughs>